Hello YouTubers. Okay, well I hope you've enjoyed the low light tests. I have actually got a flash test which I did yesterday. Um, I didn't get time to upload it last night, so I'm going to upload it after I've done this one. Um, basically it's just me faffing about with the flash to show you guys um, how good it is um, and what it's like in a room that's like pitch black. So I shall be putting that up later on. Okay, so let's have a look at the Sony Bloggy Duo. So there's the front, you've got the um, camera, 5 megapixels, uh, 1080p, 720p, 60 frames, 720p, 30 frames, and some weird 720 by 240 I think. It's a very strange one. Why they didn't just put WVGA on there, I don't know. But there's the flash, you've got the secondary screen there which is absolutely fantastic um, and it's the main reason why I got this and the Sony logo there then on this side we have the take a picture button the on and off button this little thing in the middle here actually goes orange when you charge it and then it turns off when it's fully charged now one of these is the mic the other one is the speaker and then you've got the bloggy logo there. On Nothing on the top. On this side we have the flip out USB arm. And then here we have... Let's just turn it around here. Here we have the HDMI... Focus, HDMI socket. And then you've got the lanyard strap hole there. On the bottom we have the tripod mount and a little bit of spiel about serial numbers and all that sort of stuff. And now I noticed, is it on this side? Up here you've got two little grooves in there. That's for the 360 panoramic lens that you can buy which fits on the front. I might actually look in to get one of them just to see what it's like. But then you've got your screen here which isn't touch which I was well chuffed about and then you've got your um, various different buttons here which we'll have a look at in a minute and there you've got a little play sign if it will focus in yeah, there's your little play sign button there which enables you to be able to play your videos and then you've got your take a video shot and your menu buttons there I think that's about it really right so let's turn it on There's the bloggy sign. Now I'm going to hold it like this. Well, actually, yeah, we'll hold it like this. Right, so you've got your um, play your files button there, which you click, and that's the video that I did last night. Then you've got menu options delete, um, protect, share later, and then the, the settings. So what I'm using is this arrow thing to go up and down and then you press the middle one to select it and this gives you your options so you've got to turn the beep off, language, demo etc etc now this is to do with the what shows on the computer whether you have both because um, it's got like a little partition on it for the Sony software but you can actually choose whether you want to show that partition or not and I've just left it as as is so go back so this in camera mode you get a timer which is 10 seconds 2 seconds and off you get your you zoom in and zoom out and then you've got the option to turn the flash on and off now the flash you can turn on and off while you're recording which I think is absolutely brilliant um, but then it doesn't take a lot to impress me nowadays <laughs> we've just we've checked out this one here this button here first that button in the middle turns the um, outer display on and off so while you're recording if you press that you can turn it on and off basically um, yep and then you've got your menu button and this gives you your um, photo sizes, your movie sizes 
and then you go into settings. That I think that's the only difference in the settings flicker reduction. I haven't bothered putting that on yet. I might try a video, you know, compare the two just to see um, what the difference is. Uh, sort of went a bit quick there. Yep, there you go. Format hard drive, daylight settings, and all that sort of stuff. And I think that's about it, to be honest. The only other settings that there are is when you hook it up to uh, your laptop. You, the menu button thing comes up, which I'll show you when I do the webcam video, and you get a choice to use it as a webcam. And I think that's the only other option that you get, to be honest. Um, and that's it. That is the Sony Bloggy Duo. But yeah, you've got how much time you can record, how many pictures you can take. To take a picture, you just press down that. I don't know what sort of quality the pictures are like. Let's take a picture of me radio. Um, let's have a look at that. Yeah, that's a picture of my radiator, which ain't too bad. I think you've sort of got you've got to do it right, if that makes any sense. Um, I have noticed on some of the pictures that I take, it can be can get blurry, so you've got to have a steady hand. Whether the um, flicker reduction makes any difference to that, I don't know. So yeah, that's a look round the Sony Bloggy Duo. Still really liking it. The fact that it was only forty quid really makes a huge difference for me, um, and it's the main reason why. I got it to be honest. Um, I know that the sound isn't very good and there is issues as far as the hunting in the background is concerned but those sort of things don't bother me at the moment. Next up I'm gonna do um, some daytime shots with the 1080p. Um, basically I'm gonna compare the 1080p on the Sony Bloggy Duo to the Panasonic DC1 and while I'm recording that, I shall um, put up my flash test, which I did last night. Okay, that's enough for me. Hope you're having a good day, and I'll do some more later on. Bye-bye for now.